A great way of showcasing photos or video clips in your site is to use a photo gallery or video player. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, and on a website this is no exception. Displaying your content in a creative visual way will appeal to site visitors and let them see for themselves what your business has to offer. All of the templates that come with WebPlus have a gallery page with a placeholder video and photo gallery already displayed. You can quickly customise these with your own content and we'll look at doing this now. To demonstrate this, I use this website which is based on the prospectus themed layout. I begin creating this in a previous video, editing sliders, so watch that video to find out more. So let's get started. In the site tab on the right, you'll see the gallery page I mentioned earlier. Double click on this page to view it in the workspace. You can see the video player indicated by this icon and the photo gallery below. To get a better understanding of how these objects work, we'll preview the site. On the standard toolbar, click the down arrow next to Preview Site and click Preview in Window. Click on each of the objects to view their placeholder content. As you can see, once the video player has been selected, the video clips play on loop. The player has a variety of controls which you can use to play and pause the video, choose a different starting point or adjust the volume. Further down the page is the photo gallery. You can use photo galleries to present your pictures in a fantastic slideshow with captions, dynamic navigation and more. This centralises your pictures and makes them more accessible to visitors all in one place. It's possible to customise both of these objects on this page so they both play simultaneously. However, I'd recommend choosing one of the objects and making that the focal point of the page. This will keep it looking stylish, professional and not too busy. In this video, I'll show you how to edit both of these objects and then you can decide which one you prefer to use. We'll look at editing the photo gallery first. Double click the photo gallery to begin. There are already some placeholder pictures in the gallery. We don't need these anymore, so you can select them and then click Delete. In the dialog, click OK. On the left, you can choose whether to add individual files from your computer, add all of the photos in that particular folder, add an asset from the asset browser, or add photos from a Twain scanner. Today, I'll choose to add individual files from my computer. Navigate to your pictures and select the ones you want to use in the photo gallery. You can use Control click to select multiple photos if you want to. Then click Open. Your pictures will be displayed in the photo gallery dialog. If I select a picture, you can see these buttons at the bottom of the dialog become available. These can be used to rearrange, rotate or add captions to your pictures. Alternatively, you can click on the fields next to a photo and input values as appropriate. When you've finished editing the content of your gallery, click Next. Here you can choose a different gallery style if you want to. The interactive preview below will update to show what your gallery will look like. On the right of the dialog, you can customise your gallery further. When you're happy, click Finish. The gallery will update on the page to reflect your changes and you'll be able to see it working next time you preview your site. OK, let's move on to the video player. Double click it to get started. Already you can see some similarities between this dialog and the photo gallery dialog we used earlier. Let's select the placeholder content and delete it. You can choose to include one video or several video clips, it's up to you. Multiple video clips can be played seamlessly one after another. On the left, choose how you want to add video clips. I'll click Add Files. First, you need to choose a video player format. Read this information in the dialog to find out more about the formats available. Navigate to your video clips and then select them like we did earlier then click Open. 
Your selected video clips will be displayed in the Edit Video Player dialog. Next to each clip, you'll see some key details, for example, size and duration. The buttons at the left of the dialog can be used to rearrange the video clips and change the order in which they are displayed. So far, we've been using the Media tab to edit our video player. At the top of the dialog, you can see two other tabs, Settings and ID and Anchor. On the Settings tab, you can edit the appearance of the player, including its buttons. The interactive preview on the left will update to show you how your video player will look. When you're happy with your video player, click OK. To finish, I'll replace some of the placeholder text and pictures on the page. Let's preview it to see the objects in action. You can easily add or delete video clips and pictures from their respective objects using the techniques we learnt in this video. Updating your photo gallery or video player by adding some new content is a really quick way to refresh the look and feel of your site. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed exploring customising photo galleries and video players to see how they can be used to enhance your website. To find out more about WebPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.